And welcome to Fantasy Premier League Game Week 2 post result. Now, although the game week is not over for most people, it is for me. I only have one player left to play, and I highly doubt he's going to get a high score. Most likely two to six points max. So I got 41 points, which if you look at the average points, 19 does look very good, but it's not updated yet, obviously. So to do a rundown of the team, McCarthy, trash, yet again, did nothing good really in points. Doherty, fucking shit, can't be arsed with him. I'm going to get rid of him next time, I can only make so many transfers. He's overpriced, he's probably going to go down. Robertson, consistent, good performance I guess. Sent Maxim in, trash, absolutely, get rid of him. Bruno Fernandes. Trash, but the overall team was trash, so we could only do so much. Because I just because I just recently got him in, I wasn't going to get rid of him again. That would have just been stupid. Bami Yang, all right, I guess, but trash decision. Put him as captain, but we weren't to know, were we? Salah mm, didn't really do anything to be honest. This time it was the opposite way round in terms of um, Marnie scoring, but obviously quite a lot of people got rid, so they list, they missed out there. I missed out with uh, getting rid of Son. So yeah, pretty fucked. I know Davis is there. I highly doubt he's going to play. The only person who has played on the bench has got zero points. Another trash Southampton player, so that's why there's only one player left to play. Werner, two. Trash. What is this to really say? Calvert-Lewin, really good. It was a really nice thing to see, especially with it being the, the first game of the game week. But, you know, after that, it wore off pretty quick based off the performances of the other teams. You know, I was seeing Leeds play at Fulham, seeing some of the other teams' pallets, and, you know, I'm just seeing all those points pass by me out of reach. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. No point really going in depth because it wasn't really a good game week. Um, the only transfer made, regardless of whether it's a good one, a quick one, a rushed one, I don't really give a fuck to be honest right now. I got rid of Son. I got rid of Bamiyang, brought in Son. The reason why I did that is because I know Arsenal have got some tough fixtures ahead, so I thought let's just bring in Son for the sake of it. Why not give him a try? But <laughs> one thing I forgot was uh, not next game week, but the game week after, it's uh, Fernandez versus Son as those teams face each other. But you know what? I don't think there's really much else that could go wrong, to be honest. You know, I'm sure there's other people who are in the shits and in a messy situation. I think we can all, uh, well, not all of us literally, but at least the ones who have got lower points, we can agree that we're pretty much fucked for at least now. So frustrating, especially when, Although it's still based off luck, you know, you try your best to look at the stats, you try your best to look at maybe performances and see maybe they can keep it up, try and predict and all that, you know, look with look at all the betting and stuff, how people make bets and stuff, you know, like, like last season a random one, someone was betting or something that Lingard would not score in a whole season, then he ends up scoring on the final fucking game, you know, that sort of luck and unluckiness, it's just really frustrating. Especially when you try and put a bit of effort in and then you get these nobodies and these casual people just glide by and dominate. It's so disheartening. I don't know what's going to happen uh, next game week. To be honest, I'm pretty much turned off from it right now. I don't really expect much. Like You know, you can see on the screen uh, Southampton versus Burnley. Tottenham versus Newcastle, you'd expect Tottenham to win. But knowing my luck, because I decided to bring back Son, that's when he suddenly decides to not play well. They'll probably end up losing. You've got United versus Brighton, but to be honest, phew, wouldn't surprise me if United end up struggling again. Uh, Wolves versus West Ham, you'd expect Wolves to have a decent performance. Uh, what else? Liverpool versus Arsenal, I mean, I think Liverpool will probably have a good chance again. But it depends if Salah's going to get the points in or not. If he isn't, do I get rid of him? Or do I just hold on to him for the long run? And then up front... <laughs> You've got Everton versus Crystal Palace now. Although Everton have been doing really well. Nice team. Nice amount of goals scored and all that. I don't know how they'll do against Palace because Palace is also on a winning streak as well. So I guess that'll be interesting. Now my luck, I'll probably predict something and then it'll go the opposite way. I mean, to describe my overall experience and feel of fantasy football right now, 
it feels like I've stepped on a landmine. I'm stood still because I'm not quite sure what to do. Any move I make, any move which involves me moving forwards, stepping off that mine, my team implodes on itself and there are consequences. So I can't really do much. But why I'm, why I'm not doing much and holding off, maybe being patient, maybe just being confused, I'm not getting anywhere. So we'll see what happens.